WrestleManiac, aka Blu-ray Maniac, Lim Daddy. Woo! What up, baby? We are back one more again with a Blu-ray collection update. Um, this is a little smaller of a haul, you know. I figured let's just maybe we should just do them every week, maybe. It's 25 pickups, and it's it's so pathetic to say that 25 pickups is a small haul. That's when you know that you have what we like to call issues. Okay, um, I'm going to get right into it. I got some stuff from Best Buy, Walmart, Buybacks, and McKay's. Um, huge new release day yesterday, February the 10th. A lot of good titles. And I actually picked up eight items, eight new releases yesterday. That's That's... That's pathetic. But, you know what? When in Rome, isn't that what they say? No? Alright. Well, first and foremost, I had to get what everybody's been getting. And it's uh, Nightcrawler. Jake Gyllenhaal. Um, same guy that produced Michael Clayton, which was a good film. I need to get that one, too. Um, watched it yesterday. Outstanding movie. Um, Jake Gyllenhaal's performance was, was, a, was A+. plus. You know, it... Basically, if you haven't seen it, I won't give too much of it away, but basically, the movie starts out and he's basically a thief. He's stealing copper and stuff and using it for money, and he comes across like a wreck. And Bill Paxton, um, who's in this as well, is like one of those news, you know, is one of those uh, camera guys that goes and finds like accidents, stuff like that, where he's first on the scene, and then he'll sell the story. To news, to news channels, you know, that's how he makes his money. Well, Gyllenhaal sees that, his character sees that, and is like intrigued by it, so that's what he decides to do, and that's basically what the movie's about. Like, this movie is so good, like, great thriller, you know, um, kept me on the edge of my seat the whole time I watched it. I really enjoyed uh, the way this movie was shot, like, the it looked so amazing on Blu ray. Um, Kind of wish there was like a special edition of it, which I'm sure there's one in the UK or Canada. So y'all holler at me if y'all know anything about that. Maybe we can get something worked out, baby. It's definitely one I'd love to get in a special edition of. That's Nightcrawler. Couldn't suggest this more, guys. This is a great, great film. And next up, I had to pick this one up. As a kid, this is one of my favorite Disney films, you know. And um, I had to say Aladdin, Jungle Book, and then this one. And that's uh, 101 Dalmatian, just because. I've always been a big fan of, you know, I've loved dogs, and when I was a kid, we had, um, we didn't have any Dalmatians, but I always wanted one because of this movie when I was younger, and, um, it's a diamond edition, looks amazing, um, got it for eighteen ninety six at Walmart, actually, because I was off work the last two days, and I had to go to Walmart to pick some stuff up, and it was cheaper than it would have been at work, so I was just like, well, I'll just pick it up here, um, haven't got a chance to check it out yet, but I'm gonna watch it here the next day or so, um, with that awesome slip cover, so I'm sure it looks awesome on Blu-ray. So I was glad to pick that up. It's the 101 Dalmatians there for you. Next up is one that nobody talks about at all. Nobody talks about this movie. Nobody talked about it when it was in the theaters. Um, it says it was one of the best films of the year. It's a four-star film. I enjoyed it. Now it wasn't great to me, but it was it was solid. Very solid movie. Um, that's Jeremy Renner and Kill the Mess Messenger. Basically, it's, I guess you can say it's a political thriller. Um, he's a news reporter, and he's basically, um, basically he's a, he's a news reporter, and he's basically stumbled across a story that's about drug smuggling and stuff like that. Sorry, I drew a blank. I've watched a bunch of movies today. <laughs> but, uh, Came with a really cool slip cover. This was like 20 bucks, I think. Um, I really enjoyed it. Solid movie. It wasn't great to me, but it was solid, you know. And uh, just an outstanding cast. You've got um, Andy Garcia, is also an Oliver Platt, Ray Liotta. Um, so, I really, I suggest it. But it, this is one you could probably wait on, maybe to get a little cheaper. Um, I'm just a big fan of getting stuff when it comes out on the release day. But everybody's different, you know what I mean? Um, but again, I suggest checking it out for sure. That's Kill the Messenger. Next up is one that I have not watched yet because I just picked it up yesterday. Uh, I'm going to watch it tonight. 
after I watched the NXT TakeOver show, or the new NXT pay-per-view tonight. And that is Predestination with uh, Ethan Hawke, Sarah Snook, and Noah Taylor. Um, basically, this is like a time travel, mind-bending thriller kind of deal about going into and going and saving the future. Basically, like it says here, saving the future to protect the past. Basically, going back in time and trying to get fixed things. Kind of like a Back to the Future deal, but this is more of a, of a thriller. Um, heard great things about it. Walmart didn't have this for some reason. I, I, I picked it up at Best Buy um, yesterday. Um, but, I, yeah, that's the. I ended up, if I would have known they wouldn't have had it, I would have just waited. On, I did got Dalmatians at, at work, but I could have swore they would have had this. Um, but this is only $17.99 on Blu-ray, guys, so this was definitely worth the purchase. Um, got a feeling I'm really going to enjoy this. Let me know what you guys think of this below if you've seen it. It's Predestination. Next up is one I just picked up. To, uh, well, actually, I'll show you this one. Big fan of WellGo USA stuff, like I've said, said before. Last week, uh, I showed the Once Upon a Time in Shanghai. This week they released one called Brotherhood of Blades that I watched today, and I really, really enjoyed it. Um, just, a, just a great martial arts film to me. Like, I, I myself am not really a fan of, of, of dubs, so I'll just read the subtitles, because the dubs never, I mean, they sound so cheesy, but the action in this is, is great. Uh, you know, again, Well Go USA didn't, didn't disappoint again with this one. This was like $9.99 at Best Buy. Uh, Walmart also had it too, but... Um, I suggest that one too, guys. If you like martial arts films, you know, Brotherhood of Blades was really another really good one. And one I just literally got finished watching right before this, and I picked it up, and it's starring a uh, it's an Australian film. It's starring Tom Wilkinson, Joel Edgerton, Jai Courtney, and Melissa George, and that's Felony. Um, really like this one, guys. This is a, this is what you consider like a whodunit thriller. Well, you know who done it, but anyway, basically the way what the movie's about is Joel Edgerton is a cop. I mean, all three of these guys are cops. Movie starts out there's like a big deal where it's like a bust and he gets shot, but he he gets shot he gets hit in the in the vest or whatever. So they're having they're out for have, having drinks the next night about like celebrating you know like that they made this bust or whatever and he, everything was okay. He had a few many too, too many drinks. Goes to a DUI checkpoint and. Uh, they let him through because he's a you know he's a he's a uh, policeman or cop or whatever. Ends up kind of dozing off, driving, and hits a kid on a bicycle, and basically lies and sa he calls the ambulance and lies and says that you know he found the kid. And basically the whole movie is the other guys trying to figure out you know what the deal is with that and him struggling with deciding whether or not to come come clean about it because he's got a wife and two kids and everything like that um, so really enjoyed this when it's like an hour and 45 minutes um, I'm a big fan of Joel Edgerton you know of course I loved him in Warrior thought that was a great film with him and Tom Hardy but I really enjoy this one guys this was cheap this was like 12 bucks came with that cool slip cover I got it at Walmart but I thought but we had it at Best Buy too so give this a watch too guys another one of those straight to you know blu-ray releases that I really enjoyed and that's felony and pick this up today. I'm going to watch this tonight after the, the NXT show. And this is a film um, written and directed for, by Jon Stewart, believe it or not. And that is Rosewater, who I've, what I, what I've heard nothing but good things about this. Um, I'm just going to kind of read you the summary because I've only seen the previews of this and then I've read about it. Um, it said it makes his screenwriting and directorial debut in the meeting and riveting tale of, uh, tale of hope and survival based on a true story. Uh, Tehran born um, journalist based in London returns to Iran and where he covers 2009 presidential election and basically that's kind of what it's about, the terrorism and stuff like that and um, I did the, the, the look up the trailer if you guys haven't seen the trailer. If you've seen this let me know what you think. This just looks like a, just a really good film, I think, that I like. And it's going to be interesting just to see Jon Stewart's, you know, it's an hour and 44 minutes as well, just to see Jon Stewart's, you know, directing, see how that looks. I heard he's leaving the Today Show, too. So maybe it's to do more films, I don't know. But look forward to checking this out. That's Rosewater. Came with that cool slip, too. And last but not least, on the new releases, watched it last night with my brother, 
I really enjoyed it, and it looks like it's going to be a series of films. Starring my homeboy Robert England, aka Freddy Krueger, that is Fear Clinic. Um, this is Fear Clinic, it is Robert England, Corey Taylor from Slipknot and Shine, uh, Stone Sour, I think. Um, the lead singer. And uh, Thomas Decker and Fiona Doruf, Doruf, I'm not sure. Really cool cover. This was $9.99. This was a Best Buy exclusive uh, Blu ray, I believe. Kind of like last week with the zombie killers. Um, Basically, it's just it, the movie starts out about Robert England's character is a doctor that has, has has invented this machine that basically puts you in this machine and where you face all of your fears, your phobias, all that stuff, and the machine is supposed to make you overcome those fears. Well, of course, stuff goes wrong, and that's it comes back a year later, and a lot of the people that that he dealt a lot of the patients he had came back because they're having issues um, with their fears again and stuff like that. I really enjoyed it, guys. I mean, it's for a lo it looks like it was probably a low budget horror film, but you wouldn't be able to tell though because it's shot really well, the acting's good, and you can tell that it's going to be a series. It looks like they're going to at least give it one sequel. Um, so definitely check this out if you're a horror film fan. If you're a Robert England fan, you'll really like it. I think it's Fear Clinic. Alright, these next ones are just randoms that I picked up at work. Um, picked up two more of the uh, Pop Art Still Books um, because of, you know, like two days last week I got a free movie or whatever for having a good day at work or whatever, sales wise. And uh, picked up the Desperado Pop Art Still. Awesome. Great film. I wish they would make like the Once Upon a Time in Mexico and Elmer right and like make it, you know, I might have to pick them up too, but. This looks amazing. Um, I think I only lack like three. And we've still got them at work. I may try to get them next week after I get paid. And of course I picked up Easy Rider. Now I've never seen Easy Rider. And I know it's got a criterion, but I just love this still book. Um, just looks awesome. It's got a good, got old, uh, you know, it's filmed from, um, of course you got Dennis Hopper in it. Um, Peter Fonda, written by Peter Fonda, and Dennis Hopper, so just heard good things about it. The only ones that I'm lacking is Das Boot, which I plan on trying to get it to, District 9, and uh, Tommy, I believe, uh, and Taxi Driver, which Taxi Driver, I love the steel, but I already have that awesome digi book, so I'm not sure if I'll double dip on that. I may just so I can get them all, but uh, that's Easy Rider, that pop art steel book. Then I picked this one up. This is another one I got for free. Um, it's Need for Speed with starring Aaron Paul, uh, Dominic Cooper. Haven't seen this yet, but I figured it'd be one I like. Um, I never had seen it before, and I'm a fan of the Fast and Furious films. I love the Need for Speed games, and I'm a big fan of Jesse F. and Pinkman. So why not scoop it up? You know, it was a freebie. So it's Need for Speed. Next up, these two are on that, I don't know if you've been in the Best Buy the last week or so, we've got this new setup now where as soon as you walk in, it's like, um, uh, it's line, like a Lionsgate display um, with like $15 and under, most of them. And these are two that I've been wanting to get, so I just went in and scooped them up. It's the Most Wanted Man, starring uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman, rest in peace, um, rest in peace, Rachel McAdams, William Defoe, and Robin Wright. It's basically a spy thriller. Haven't got a chance to see it yet, but it's got that kind of cast, and I've heard nothing but good things about it. So I had to pick it up. Didn't have the slip, but I'm sure I can find it somewhere. And I had to pick this one up. One I just let slip by me, and um, when it came out, um, and I saw it, it was like four. I think it's like fourteen ninety nine. I think it's Under the Skin, starring Scarlett Johansson, uh, filmed by Jonathan Glazer. Um, basically, this is the movie where she's the the good, you know, the alien or whatever. I've heard great things about it, so I uh, really liked Lucy, so I figured I'd pick this one up as well. Plus, she's easy on the eyes as well. Woo! Okay. There's those. Now we're going to go to my... We'll go to my buybacks pickups. I went to buybacks and traded a few things, like some old DVDs and CDs and stuff. Plus, I hadn't been to buybacks in about a month or two, so I just wanted to see what they had. And um, 
And they had some really good ones that I needed. And they had, of course, I've already got one, three, and four of this series, so I had to pick the second one up to complete it. Uh, Scorpion King 2, that's so Rise of a Warrior. Sure, these are probably bad, but I like bad action movies, you know, and um, like I said, it was, they got buy three, get one on these. This is, so, that another, that's another reason I wanted to scoop it so I could get close to that, that free title. And, um, picked this one up. Now, I have the Walk Hard Dewey Cox theatrical version that I got at the, um, let me find it real quick. Yeah, okay. So we got this in our seven ninety nine bin at work, right? So I picked it up, and it says the theatrical version. So and it's a Mill Creek release. So I'm like, okay, well, you know, cool, I'll pick it up. Well, then I'm in Bimax, and I see this one, Walk Hard, um, two disc unrated edition, and it was seven ninety nine as well. So I'm thinking, well, if it it says that the unbearably long self indulgent director's cut, it's supposed to be like a way different movie or like a lot more of a movie. So I was like, well, I'll just go ahead and and pick it up, and then I'm just gonna give this one to my brother. He loved. It. He's the one that told me about this movie. So um, give it, give my other copy to him. So uh, yes, yeah, the Dewey, it's Wall Card Dewey Cox Story Unrated Edition. Such a funny movie. And next picked up uh, this one, which is one I've been wanting to add to the collection. Just wanted to find it for a good price. And $7.99 with the slip cover is a great, great price, I thought. And that is 10 Things I Hate About You, starring Julia Stiles and, you know, the, the old Heath Ledger. Uh, rest in peace to you too, man. Uh, such a good movie. This is the 10th anniversary edition. Got a lot of special features on it and stuff, which is cool. Um, always been a film I loved. I used to have it on DVD and back in the day. And um, just so glad to see it there, especially with the slip cover. You don't really ever see this in the stores. Target has it, but it's like 15 bucks, you know what I'm saying? So, glad to find that one. And, um, last but not least, this was my free one. It was only $3.99, but I really couldn't find any other ones that were $7.99 or, you know, a little bit more expensive that I didn't have. And that's Oranges, um, starring uh, Hugh Laurie, Katherine Keener, Oliver Platt. Really enjoy this movie. Romantic comedy, um, just really enjoyed it. It's, it's it, basically the families get to, you know these are two the families of two two you know they're good friends they live net close to each other in the same neighborhood and um, Hugh Laurie ends up kind of having a fling with the da Oliver Platt's daughter and Hugh Laurie's married to Catherine Keener so it's kind of like a weird but it's really good plus it's got the guy uh, Adam Brody that played in um, the OC too he plays the brother. Or he plays a uh, Hugh Laurie's son, so I really suggest you know that if you like romantic comedies, it's, it's a good one, and it's um it was only three ninety nine, but I got it was my freebie, so plus I got the slip for that that I snatched one day, year over a year ago probably. These next three, four, five, six, seven titles I picked up at McKay's, um, had some credit there left over, like thirty or forty dollars credit left over from a couple of visits ago. And just had to pick these up. This one's a re-get because, again, this is one of the movies I picked up. And I sold it because I just didn't really appreciate Nicolas Cage's cheese. Like, I, I didn't fit him in that category of Stallone and all that. Which, he's not quite there, but he's really climbing up the ladder in the cheese section. That's Rage. Um, I had this slip from when I had it before, but this was like six five ninety five. It was It was still sealed, too. Um... And I watched it yesterday, and it's it's bad, but it's it's good bad. Like it's it's bad action. You can't go wrong with a good old Nicolas Cage there, except for maybe Ghost Rider too. I don't know. That's Rage there on Blu-ray. This next one is one I've been I picked up ten or twelve times at work because it's in that it was five it was in that five ninety nine section, um, right by the registers for the longest, and um, I just I'll never pull the trigger on it. And then I saw it there for four ninety five. And McKay's, and I went ahead and got it. It's Hitman, unrated. Um, it's the digital copy special edition, which it's the one with the digital copy disc that's no good. But um, I've never seen Hitman, but I've heard it's just a great cheesy action film. Um, so I figured, why not? You know, it came out in 2007, looks like. So uh, I mean, maybe that's just when the Blu ray came out. No, I guess up to the. I don't know. 
So let me know below what y'all thought of this one. Looks like good cheese there. Next up is a another guy that I'm just really trying to collect all of his films and uh, never seen it, but it was five dollars brand new. It had the code and everything, and that's Enemies Closer with Jean Claude Van Damme. Sold the code for three bucks, so I got it, I paid two bucks for this brand new. Um, haven't got to see it yet, but it's Jean Claude Van Damme. You know what I mean? He's up there with he's right up there in the same action action star category for me. And speaking of Van Damme, we picked up Replicant. It was two ninety five. I bought this at Walmart in that five dollar section like last year sometime, and the Blu-ray wouldn't ever work. Like I tried it, like but it, I had lost my receipts. So I couldn't return it, and there's no there was no visible issues with the disc or anything. It just wouldn't recognize it in my player. I tried it in three or four different players, so I ended up trading it. No, I couldn't trade it because it wouldn't work. So I don't remember what happened to it, but I ended up picking it back up. And this one works fine. So, such bad cheese, but good cheese at the same time, and for two bucks. John Claw, baby, you want some bad? All right. Next up, this one was two ninety five, and this is another one that I was gonna pick up. Um, it was in that four ninety nine section. I know it's in the seven ninety nine bin at work. Start with my homeboy Ed Helms. You got John C. Riley, Ann Hesh, Sigourney Weaver. It's Cedar Rapids, two ninety five, brand new. And just, I thought it was a good funny film. You know, it's not great, but it's definitely worth three bucks. So glad I didn't get it out of the seven ninety nine bin because I got it for half that. So, and the last two titles I picked up, I'm, it's it's time that I start picking all these titles up. These are the only two they had. They were both sealed. Listen to Kramer. They were both sealed, and they were both four ninety five. Um, they had a copy of the first one, but the disc because McKay's. The discs are in the section, like they're in the cases. So people just, they're scratched and smeared from where people just put their grubby paws all over the stuff. Sometimes you'll open the cases and there'll be no movies in it, where people just steal them. But their their inventory is so huge they can't put them behind the desk. So anyways, the Resident Evil that they had was bad, so I couldn't get in. So I picked up Resident Evil Apocalypse. Like I said, this one was brand new for $4.95. And believe it or not, guys, as big of a fan of the games as I am, I've got all the old games downloaded on my PS PlayStation, and I play them all the time. Um, love them, love the games. Um, never seen any of the movies because I just was like, well, I probably won't like them. But I saw parts of the first one, and I was like, okay, this is not as bad as I thought. And I'm a completist, so I think there's five, maybe there's four actual real films, and there's a couple of like like animated kind of ones. I don't remember, but there's Resident Evil Apocalypse. And then you had uh, Resident Evil Afterlife. So I think I need to get, of course, the first one, and then Resident Evil Extinction. And I think there's one called Degeneration, maybe. But I think it's like an animated one. I can't remember. Comment below, let me know, guys. Kind of give me a heads up on that. But um, I figured it definitely was worth it, you know, especially for five bucks a piece, brand new. Plus, I had the store credit. So why not? You know what I mean? So that's it, guys. Like I said, still ended up being 24 minutes, but we had about 25 titles, you know. Plus two, I like with the with the smaller hauls, it's cheaper, obviously, for me. But another thing is I'm running low on space, and another thing on top of that, I don't really get to talk much about the films because I only have like a 33 minute cap on my videos on my camera, so I kind of have to just zoom through them. You know what I mean? So at least I like with this, I, I have more time to go through the films with you guys and. Um, and stuff like that. So, not sure if I'll do this every week. It may I may wait a couple weeks. It just depends on how things go. But um, comment below. Let me know what you thought of everything. And um, hope y'all have a blessed day. Love, peace, and hair grease, baby. We're almost. We're over 2,900 subbies. We're getting close to three thousand. Three stacks, baby. Andre three thousand. Nah. By the way, I need. I didn't know he was playing. He played in uh, Bob Mar or not Mar Marlin, but um, Jimmy, Jimi Hendrix. I'm gonna have to pick that movie up. Uh, so random, sorry. But anyways, we'll get off here. I'm gonna watch. Uh, what was I gonna watch? Uh, Predestination or Rosewater? One of those two. Before the NXT pay per view. So uh, I love each and every one of you guys. Comment below, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Woo!